Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is Thursday, the 24th of March, and we're looking at the Tiger Financial News Network, 11 a.m. market update. Most importantly, the Dow's up 154, 34,511, having treated this 200 as orange, 200 period exponential moving average as strong support, not good enough. I want to see a move into the 34,600s, preferably by tomorrow, and then a tackle by early next week to tackle a leg D above 34,882.03. One penny above SARS leg D, and I need to see it, and soon. I can't, take, can't see too much time here. The S&P, same thing. S&P has made a peak C uh, in the Chapman Wave methodology. We're always anticipating a buy mode goes to the fourth highest peak, which is D at least. And at, at this point, we're going to have to see. It's up 25 points at 44.81. It needs a lot more. It needs to get to, wow, it needs to test 4503 in the next couple of days. That's going to be important. Mustn't fail here. That's going to be a, that, that, that'll weaken the technicals. We're looking at the, uh, uh, QQQ, NDX 100 trading vehicle, 354.74. Not bad action, up 3.22. Something must have happened right now. There's news. Oh, something's happened. The Dow's up 235. S&P's up 34. Wow. Just as long as we stay, as well, we're staying along in our positions. What we're looking at is the QQQ had a nice bounce, but it needs a lot more. It needs three, 359s by Monday or Tuesday. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000. That's also towards the high of the day, up. 22 cents. It's lagging, but it, it it's holding well. Gold. Let's see if gold has actually had a big spike. Yes, it has. It's up 27 now. It's 1964. Uh, trading very nicely. I'd say in the 1960s is good. This is good action. It's still in a big consolidation. Let's see what happened to crude oil. Did crude oil pull back? A little bit. It's down one at 113.95. I don't know whatever the news is. Oh, maybe. What is today? I don't know what it is. Anyway, whatever happened, we give him some of that back. But it was a good spike for the moment. Uh, so watching crude oil must hold 109. Otherwise, it starts to pull back deeper. The TLT is really a big issue here. That is the bonds uh, one down 160 at 129.90. Not, not, not good at all. And you want to see rates at least ameliorate some of that upside move by going sideways. And so far, uh, this is this is just saying yields are going higher. And there has been some very good economic news. So you can see with the Fed stuff. I'm going to, after we start the day at nine o'clock with Tommy O'Brien, market kickoff. Then it's my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. Larry Pesavento comes up next. Then you've got uh, Think or Swim. You've got Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom Bryan wraps it up at the end of the day. Stay tuned. Great programming. What a time to have TFNN. This is where you get all the news. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow for Technical Friday at 10 a.m.